Hey, what's going on guys? Mark back in the workshop on Mark's Aquatics. On this little video, I'm just going to have a little look around my few of my little tanks that I've got going. And I thought we'd just have a little chat. You can see now, you can see Jackson and his girlfriend there are getting it on nicely in the background. Having a little kiss and a cuddle, doing a bit of displaying. Look at that. Beautiful to watch. Get some underwater footage as well. A little bit glary, but they've decided to go underneath that, mind your own business. He keeps making the bubble nest, but it keeps popping because of the, uh, there's not enough humidity to keep those bubbles in the water, so, uh, which I'm not too fussed about. These two get on really well, even when they're not breeding. They share this tank quite happily, and when he gets a little bit boisterous, she shoots off behind the rocks and hides, and he calms down, and then she comes out again, so, uh, could always give them a little bit of food while we're here. There you go, guys. They always like their little bug bites. Look at that. You can't stop showing off. There you go, we can give my koi a little rattle of their food. Come on then. All excited. There you go, have some of those little beans. I've just been outside and clearing up around the place and they're a little bit spooky but I've come in now they'll soon settle down looking super colours that's one thing I was going to ask you guys as well is what channels do you follow on YouTube I'll be really interested to know what other channels you follow apart from mine of course what other guys do you like what do you think is a really good channel teaching channel all that kind of good stuff not like but just really good, really good informational channels. Drop me a little comment in the uh, in the box below on who who else you follow and who else you think is a really good little aquarist. I'd be really glad to know because if I don't know of them, and there's so many out there, I can follow their channels as well. These guys are uh, beautiful colour at the moment. Waterfalls running nice. The moss is all looking nice, and the little bits of a uh, fern that's growing out from around the rocks there which has gr started growing all on its own must have been little seeds and spores that have come in when I built this some time ago now they've had their fill they'll just keep drifting around now and most of them I think have gone outside through my dirty windows look plants are looking good windows are looking filthy I'll have to clean all those. <laughs> what else can we have a look at? Now one of my tanks did have a leak in it sadly, the one with the King Tigers in. One of the seals went on the side of the aquarium and so I've had to put the King Tigers. I know one of you guys noticed that I put them in a bench tank a while. I think it was on the last video actually when we made when we made that and they've tried to get in there and they've pushed it and pulled it all around the place. Now there's that lovely Crebensis female that I was talking about last time as well. And I think the male might be inside the pot if we can go around and have a look. I think he went in there and decided he was going to take up residence inside the little hobbit house. But you can see all their tails sticking out. And I'm not sure if there's eggs in that bottom pot there. I'm not 100% sure but these do breed quite regularly these guys. All the uh, diamond tetras are doing extremely well, as you can see how many we've got there, no end of them. And I said I was going to have to thin some of those out. And I'll take them up to my mate in one of his shops and he can, he can sell them off. Look at that. We've got the ember tetras in there as well. The puffers are in there. We've got some x-ray tetras down this side from when we spawned those. She's absolutely full of eggs at the moment, as you can see there. And there's a couple of little males, or one little male, two little males there, I think, around her. They spawn most mornings. Quick little look at the zebras as well. They're doing extremely well. I just sold the last batch of eggs, uh, sorry, of eggs of fry that these had. And it won't be long again before they're off. Probably another month's time they'll uh, they'll breed again. And we'll have some more eggs and some more baby zebras coming out. 
They're lovely coloured up at the moment. Beautiful black and white. She likes it inside that little oak hide that we made some time ago now. And they love chasing the snails about. Look at that. Ah, there you go, we're in the coral room now. A lot of the snails have come out and they've gone on top of the rock. They go on top of the island there and they have a little chill out under the lights. And then when they get a bit hot, they go for a swim again and they have a little bit more algae grazing. Because some of the coral, some of the, some of the mushrooms down here, some of the other corals there on that rock, which are going to regrow again. All the frags are doing extremely well, if you can see across here. Doing absolutely fantastic. Got no end of Acropora frags there, going all the way along. All healed up nicely, as there is some absolutely stunning colours in amongst those. I've got to get a filter actually, to uh, so I can show you the colours. It will take that takes that blue out of the uh, out of the water, and then you can see on the tops of all these beautiful little acros here. You've got some green tips. There's some red tips, orange, some absolutely beautiful colours in amongst those. There really is. I've built another bank of tanks there. As you can see, with my little diving helmet on the top, we've got, we got five tanks all the way down here now. And at the bottom there, I made a nice little sump out of acrylic. We've got this full of um, Biohome Ultimate and some pumice and some more Biohome Ultimate underneath. And I'm running that with one of these little Jabo wave pumps, which are really good because they actually surge they surge backwards and forwards they'll blow stop blow stop and it creates that if you can see that purging action and that water there goes up and down it's not a constant flow rate like normal pumps super big deltex skimmer going in there working nicely this system's still maturing at the moment so we've just got a couple of old pieces of coral in there a couple of bits which sadly didn't make it but as obviously they're going to decompose and the flesh is going to rot from those so i've just put them in there and they'll create that ammonia and they'll start that nitrogen cycle off and get all that good bacteria and things growing sometimes on the glass you can see there's already little white dots all over the glass I'm not sure if you can see them from there lots and lots of copepods swimming around and you can see the algae growing on that coral there as well but they'll be covered in those got the doser rigged up now as well and a phosphate reactor on there on the sump which is going nicely now it's a row phos in there which is going to get rid of any phosphates in the water and uh, we've got the one of my old pumps in there my dosing pumps which i've calibrated now and it's running that three-part um aquaforest i think it's called component one two and three which i've not tried before but it looks pretty good to me so i'm going to give that a go replaces the calcium, magnesium and alkalinity back into your water but these corals pardon me, just dropped my microphone which these corals are going to be utilising in the water so we've got to replace that because as they grow they're using obviously the uh, the calcium in the water the magnesium and everything else to grow that that skeleton that they need to keep growing so we've got to replace that as they use it in the water sometimes when you get this many corals in there just regular water changes on enough to keep up with demand so uh, that's why you add that doser and dial it in and we can get into that if you're interested in that sort of stuff in a later video but these little snails are fantastic look at that they just come up here on top of the water and they close up in their little shells and then they wake up and they go shooting off either down that hole there there's one in the hole there that's still wet got some tiny little snails there and if you remember look at that that is that big cast which I'd, I took off, that, off the crayfish, my big Cherax um, Australian red clawed female. If you remember that video where she shed her shell. Now what I've done is I actually cast her in resin, um, which is quite good. That looks pretty cool in the workshop here, in the coral room. So um, I've got a little memory of her there, look at that, encased. And some of the other ones there we've got as well. We've got a couple of little frags, one there that didn't make it. Sometimes they're weak and they don't take for some reasons, but the other ones are starting to heal up nicely now and cap over on the ends where I cut them. 
if you can see that on the top of there you'll start to see the center bulge up and little arms sticking out again and that color will start to pop out and they'll start growing again and we can frag them off again at a later date then but yes everything's looking pretty good so far looking forward to getting all these full of different fish and different critters and little creatures and things later on when this is matured we'll be going away in another probably another month's time so we'll be doing some other videos beach combing and looking through rock pools and things and seeing what new creatures and critters i can find down on the beach back where i'm from in a few weeks time so that'll be interesting stay tuned for that one if you're not subscribed to the channel hit the old subscribe button and that notification bell for up and coming videos and you can follow along with this channel which i sure would appreciate look at that we've got a beautiful flow in there those max spec pumps in there are really doing their job pushing that water around seven foot long this tank and there's one at each end and they really do push up some amazing current and circulation you can do all different types of stuff up on these little units here and um, all different things you've got on there different wave patterns you can do if you're unfamiliar with these i'm not sure if these are out in the market yet but they're fantastic little bits of kit i certainly would pick one of these guys up if you're into your marine tanks or even into your planted tanks and you want a nice little flow around a big planted tank because that will really push some water around and you've got all different types of flow patterns there as you can see now ah, well guys we're back in the workshop now anyway i think what we'll do i'll end it on this little video now you're not having any more food you've eaten too much already you'll be as fat as me before you know it <laughs> anyway guys you tell me what your one of your top aquarium channels is because i surely would like to know drop it in the old comment section below because it'd be nice to see what you guys watch apart from my channel anyway guys as always you're all stars love you loads take care and i'll see you for another edition of mark's aquatics very soon bye for now Just me and my